Now, if you've been following the videos in order, this is only the second one, you'll see that we just installed AVG on our computer to get a security suite, a little bit more of a firewall and scanner and all that stuff. Um, so now, if you don't want to use Internet Explorer, which personally I don't recommend just because of problems with ActiveX and security, uh, we need to download another, another browser for the internet and there's two. There's Mozilla Firefox and there is Google Chrome. Now if you look AVG's uh, link scanner is giving you these green check marks for safe websites. So if you're ever not sure if what you're looking at on the internet is safe this is incredibly important and helpful. Um, I'm just going to download Firefox because that's what I use. So we're just going to go to Firefox.com. Even though Google Chrome is now winning in the market share for browsers, we're just going to go to Firefox, free download. And then they have a link right there, just Firefox for download. Um, instead of saving this one, I'm just going to run it. And it is downloading at a decent pace. Hopefully this won't take too long. Um, but really, the, the main reason why I don't like to use Internet Explorer is just because I don't like the interface, first off. Um, I don't like the way the ActiveX controls work, and there's a few other things. But um, really, this is the main reason why, and I'll show you right here while that's doing, while that's loading. And you just, if you Google Mozilla add-ons, you'll see this. And basically, what it allows you to do is add on a bunch of <clears throat> add-on software to your browser. So all these have been approved by the members, so you know that they're safe, and you can, you know, really customize your browser to what you need and they also have at plugins and add-ons for increasing security and stuff like that and that is absolutely not what I wanted to do so just look for the download and fortunately it is almost done Also, just FYI, going to otbguides.com will just redirect you to this. That's AVG popping up, trying to get me to take care of my computer better, but I'm just going to ignore it because I'm not really worried about it. So, now that Firefox is almost done, because I chose the run option, just the second it's saved on my computer, it is going to run and then when it's done running that copy is most likely going to be deleted if your computer uh, is running itself right sometimes it will linger on in your computer and it just be cleaned up but we'll handle that for another day so we're just going to hit run it's extracting we saw this same thing happening when we were uh, installing AVG I just walk through the uh, wizard, um, just follow all that. I chose, up, I had to choose upgrade because I actually already had Firefox on this computer, but you see how simple it is. Launch Firefox, and we're just checking the compatibility of a few add-ons. I'm pretty sure I don't have any, so it shouldn't take that long. And we are good now. So that's how easy it is. And the AVG uh, toolbar is still active on Firefox, so we're good. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.